Hi everyone, this is Aryan from Ayans Prozen and in this video I am going to tell you about fast track technology. So uh, this, uh, this is a whole fast track technology. In this video I am going to completely explain you. So fast track works on RFID. RFID means radio frequency identification. I have also made a dedicated video on that. You will find the link in the description box in the i button above. So uh, fast track basically works on RFID. So the uh, meaning of RFID is radio frequency identification so it uses radio frequency to identify the tag now this is given the name fast tag because it saves the time so it makes us makes the vehicles go fast so and it uses a tag so it is given the name fast tag so now what happens in radio frequency identification is when the scanner of the toll plaza scans your fast tag which is kept in the windshield of your vehicle so it will first reflect the data in the system of the toll plaza um, yeah, manager or the person who is sitting there then it will uh, contact the bank and then the bank um, it will ask the bank whether the money or how much money is there in this fast tag then what will happen then if there is enough money for the toll plaza then the bank will send, uh, send the toll plaza uh, member that the money is there you can deduct the money then the toll plaza will deduct the money and then again it will go and ask the bank whether the money is deducted or not if it is deducted then the bank will tell that the money is deducted if it is not deducted the bank will tell that it is not deducted so that is basically how fast tag works so now fast tag there are seven types of fast tags and it is divided into two more types so this is the fast tag one is m type one is n type so M type is for your private vehicle. So now private vehicles are the vehicles that are personal vehicles like a car, scooty and bike. But car, scooty and bikes are not included in this. And in the M type, there are total of seven varieties. So there are seven varieties. First is the orange color. Orange color is used for commercial vehicle. So commercial vehicles are the vehicles which we use on brand, or they are the cabs. Um, the small small trucks so they are all the commercial vehicles then there is yellow color card yellow color card are for three axle trucks so now you must be wondering what is axle so I'll tell you so as you can see a demonstration here I have made you can see this rod now this rod has joined these two wheels over here so the rod that joins the wheels is known as an axle so this is an axle this rod and these are the wheels now here I have also drew it these two are the wheels and this is the axle. So this rod is the axle which joins two wheels. So axle is a rod or a pipe that joins wheels. So if you want to know how many axle does a vehicle have. So for example I have taken that the vehicle has 30 wheels. So you divide it by 2. So you divide it by 2 you will get the number of axle that is 15. And if you want to cross check, just multiply 15 into 2 is equal to 30. So you have got it. But scooties and bikes are not included because they are, they are what happens is, they are, suppose this is the engine. So the engine is directly connected to the wheel. So what happened you, with the engine, the wheel runs directly. Therefore, scooty does the scooties and bikes don't have axle. Then there is green color for two axles. So three axle trucks is equal to how many wheels? So there are three axles. So 3 into 2 means 6 wheels. So they have 6 wheels. Now here 2 axles. So two, uh, how many wheels is it? 2 axles into 2. So 4 wheels. So these are 4 wheels. And then there is 4, 5 and 6 uh, axles. Axle trucks are uh, issued under pink car. So for 4 axle, 5 axle and 6 axle trucks, the pink car is given. And then there is sky blue car given for 7 plus axle trucks. Means with 7 and more axle trucks which are the big big trucks that take the engines and all the Volvo trucks and then that is black color it are for machinery so in the machinery comes our JCB excavator so they all come under machinery and there are adv advantages and disadvantages so I'll discuss that now it saves the saves the time it saves the it reduces pollution because we don't need to stand in queues then it saves the fuel because if the fuel burns then there will be more pollution and in queues uh, the fuel keeps on burning 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 so there will be more pollution in fast sector less fuel will burn so less pollution will happen but the disadvantage is privacy so what happens someone can clone your fast tag 
and then uh, he will apply it uh, on, on his windshield and he will, uh, he will use that and then the money will be deducted from your account. So that is one disadvantage of fast track. So this was my video for today. I hope you like my video. Please like my video, subscribe our channel and thanks for watching.